welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.28 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is a serial manufacturer is aware that the weight of the product in the box varies slightly from box to box in fact considerable historical data have allowed the determination of the density function that describes the probability structure for the weight in ounces letting x be the random variable weight in ounces the density function can be described as this function which is f of x and this is 2 by 5 in the range which is given here in which x is greater or equal to 23.75 and less than or equal to 26.25 and 0 elsewhere okay so in given data we can see that this is basically the f of x this is x this is f of x and it only lies between 23.75 let me say this is 23.75 up to 26.25 26.25 and the value of it is 2 by 5 okay so let me have here this is 2 by 5 and it is constant in between these ranges okay we can see that this is the area under 23.75 and 26.25 which is 2 by 5 okay and the value of it is 2 by 5 and we have to find different answers given in the form of question a b c okay so what is part a we have to verify that this is a valid density function okay so in order to verify that it is a valid density function what do we have to do here the area in between this or the overall area here should be equal to one which is the accumulation of all the probabilities lies in between these ranges okay so as we can see that this is a continuous random variable so therefore in order to find the area what we can do we can use here this function which is the integration okay so in order to integrate this of, of x uh, what do we have to do we have to write different ranges which are from 23.75 up to 26.25 and here we have to integrate our function f of x d of x and we have to see that what is the area in between here okay if the area is equal to 1 then this would be a valid density function okay so what is f of x here so let me write the value of f of x here and that f of x is given and that is 2 by 5 and here this is d of x okay so now in order to integrate it what we can see that here we have this 2 by 5 which is a constant this is 2 by 5 and here it would be these two ranges 23.75 and 26.25 so 23.75 and 26.25 and this is this and here from it i will get what this will be 2 by 5 multiplied by x and this will be the range from 23.75 and the higher range is 26.25 okay so now let me write these ranges here and here we will get 2 by 5 and the ranges of x, x will be from 26.25 minus 23.75 okay subtracting for it what i will get here i will get 26.25 minus this so i will get here 2 by 5 multiplied by 2.5 okay so 2.5 here so let me calculate it it will be 2.5 multiplied by 2 will be 5 divided by 5 which is what which is equal to 1 which basically shows me that this one okay this one is a valid density function and that is because of this one which is the area in between these two ranges okay so that is the area which is covered by this curve okay so that is what the answer of 
part A is. Now in order to solve part B, let me first see that what is it? Determine the probability that the weight is smaller than 24 ounces. So the weight is smaller than 24 ounces. We have to find the probability of it. So we can see that this range, the smaller range is 23.75 and up to the higher range which is 24 we have to find the probability here and that probability that x is what x is less than 24 okay so here in order to do so we have to write the lower range because below this the probability is zero so therefore this would be 23.75 and here it will be 26. Point sorry it will be the higher range here will be 24 because the higher range is this one so i have to write this one and here as we have previously seen that it would be 2 by 5 here it would be d of x okay so now writing it it will be 2 by 5 and here x and 23.75 and here i will have what 24 Okay. So now then calculating it and then finding all we will see that here the answer of it will be 0 0.1 which is the probability that the weight is less than 24. Okay. So that is what the answer of part B. Okay. So let me move down somehow and see that what is the part C. So in part C, we have to see that the company desires that the weight exceeding 26 ounces be an extremely rare occurrence. What is the probability that this rare occurrence does actually occur? Okay. So what we have to do in this case, the lower range is 26 and higher than this would be 26.25 and exceeding from 26 up to 26.25 is a very rare case. Okay. We have to find the probability of it. So it would be what this is part C and we have to find the probability that the weight is greater than 26 okay so this would be what this would be the lower range let me have it here 2 by 5 again the same function and the lower range here would be 26 and the higher range here will be 26.25 okay and here we will have this d of x okay now again calculating it and finding all the probabilities let me write here this would be 2 by 5 okay and multiplying it with the value which we will get here that would be x so from it i will get 26.25 so here we will get 0 0.25 and finding it out we will get 0 0.1 which is a very rare case because of the probability we have here okay so this is the probability that x will be greater than 26 or the weight will be greater than 26 ounces okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 3.28 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box